Adobe Audition Training, The Basics. Session 3, Editing Audio in the Waveform. Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this third Adobe Audition Training, The Basics tutorial, I'll show you how to edit audio in the waveform view. That includes changing the amplitude, fading in and out, normalizing, copying and pasting. Take a look at the voiceover I recorded in tutorial 2. Hello, this is Mike Russell recording a short voiceover. The first thing I may want to do is normalize that audio. So basically make it the maximum capacity it can be in the waveform view. That's achieved by going to Effects, Amplitude and Compression, Normalize Process, and that will bring this up on your screen here. I usually normalize to about 98.8%. You can also do by dB to 0 dB and that will make it nice and big on your screen. That's normalization. Amplitude is achieved really easily by using this control on your screen. I can just bring it up or down as I wish by as many decibel as I like. So if I want to turn it all the way down, I can do that. And then if I want to copy and paste, that's another easy process. Just simply select the piece you want to copy, Command C to copy it, and Command V to paste and now you'll see I've looped that recording recording and then if I want to cut it's command X to cut something out if you want to actually delete something without cutting it simply highlight it and hit the delete key on your keyboard that will achieve the same effect now I want to trim this audio so I'm going to delete the start and the end and then I'm going to go back into the effects menu amplitude and compression and normalize to get it back up to its full capacity. When I've got this audio, hello, this is Mike Russell. I want to fade in and fade out. This is done really easily in the waveform view by using these diamond icons in each corner. So for my fade in, I just simply draw and you see how that yellow line starts to manipulate the start of the waveform. So I can draw it in just slightly there. And at the end of the waveform, I want to fade out nicely as well. So that yellow line will show what my fade out looks like on the waveform. And that's done. If you'd like to get more audio production tips and tricks, click through to the website on your screen now and sign up to my newsletter with your name and email. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.